the title relates to a trip I was uh, involved in in the summer. I was in Colombia, or you know, the equator touches, crosses Colombia, the southern part of Colombia. And I'm from that region. Then I thought, well, I live in this diverse part of London, you know, in, in, in the east, east end. You know, I've been there for 15 years, and, and more so in the last 10 years, there's been this diversity of, of produce that has been brought in from Latin America, from Asia, uh, Africa. Through that thread, I wanted to create a piece of work that made me conscious and hopefully made other people conscious of, of this kind of um, expansion, this global expansion, um, this kind of cult cultural expansion. You know, corn is something that I grew up with, but has uh, a resonance to other cultures and uh, other sort of societies that I've never interacted with. Murillo is giving us a rich narrative. The corn, the mincers. You have to mush the food down into the grinder with your fingers. It's a gooey, tactile process. And all that childlike play is a bit surreal. The cement bucket used for cornmeal. These childhood memories. There's some kind of family nurturing, a domestic, collective, cultural, industrial activity. Practical building, stuff, and making do. Then strung through with these shiny traces of transitory art world. I wanted the, the exhibition space to allude to my studio, but also, you know, be concerned with aesthetics, uh, decisions, and decisions of... Um, to do with, with sculpture and, 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 and sculpture in relationship to, to your awareness in the space, your, your, bo your body awareness in the space. Most of the things I make are on the floor. You know, things happen on the floor in terms of making. You know, nothing really, I mean, nothing really takes place on the wall. Pulped paper that has been rendered on the, the canvases, you know, that's now the floor, like part of the floor in the exhibition. So it, it was as much as about translating the process, but also knowing that this is a space where audiences and the public inhibit too. Like most important artists and their works, Murillo is winding us up, getting us to feel in response to what he does, getting us to think, and by laying stuff on the floor for us to tramp all over, he's also getting us to interact with his materials. Our footprints are adding to the stuff which he'll use to make his next works for his next exhibitions. There's a playfulness to this collaborative recycling process and an underlying material resourcefulness. These tabletops were in his Art Basel installation earlier this year, stomped on by the art audience. I didn't really know what the configuration of the show would be. Essentially, a lot of the elements came together I'm not going to say that at the last minute, but came together like, you know, I guess right when, right at the end when execution w was just about to begin. It was a really interesting en endeavor. Right now, Murillo is flying high enough for us to say that he's the hottest ticket in London's art market today. This is his work called Lottery. It's all about commerce, marketing, money, having and not having, and maybe some irony here too. Some playing the art world game layered into this show. These are his lottery tickets, available to buy for £2,500 each. And right next door to these rows of expensive tickets, there's a film of Ramon, a 48-year-old Colombian lottery ticket seller. He walks the streets trying to sell tickets best he can. Are you feeling awkward yet? I am. A little bit of greed and some guilt right next to each other. Complicated and simple, all at the same time. I think it's safe to say that Murillo is playing with us in a number of different ways. Most countries have a lottery. I, I used to sell lottery tickets when I was a kid, but, but that's besides the point. Um, 
and I guess the only reason why I mention it is because, you know, that, that is the micro relationship that I have. The lottery, like bingo, I think, is usually linked or connects closer to a kind of working class. With this project, I wanted to, f I wanted to flip the idea of what a lottery is. So this is called lechona. Yeah, so it's basically rice peas and the same, uh, the pork meat, meat. This is tamales. Mm -hmm. They're very popular in Colombia, it's traditional. I've always been around family, you know, I've always been around my, 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 my parents and my, my, my uncles and they migrated with, with me. So, you know, it would actually be really strange and weird if I didn't include them in my work, you know, because then it would contradict itself or how the space was set up as a show. Very natural for the, for the dinner itself to be held at the, at the show itself in the, in the exhibition space. <laughs> 